Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to install the Google Cloud SDK and uh, we will run the few basic commands as well on the Windows machine. So currently I'm on my Windows machine. You can see this one, right? And I have logged into my cloud.google.com on my account right now. Uh, you can directly go there. Here is some my user account details are also there, right? So SDK, so software developer kit, we can say, and uh, it is specifically for the developers. And sometimes as a cloud admin, you will also need that. You will also require that one. So it is always best to learn the basic commands at least to how to run the Google Cloud SDK. So on the Windows machine, like if you want to go, so here this particular URL, you have to go there. Otherwise, you can just directly search on the Google as well, like the Google Cloud uh, SDK, G Cloud SDK. So here a few options are there. This is for Linux, for Ubuntu, for Red Hat, for Mac OS, and for the Windows. So as per your operating system, you can choose any of these options. But as currently I'm working on the Windows right now, so I'm just going through that. Once you will click on this button, so I have already installed the Google uh, SDK installer. So once you will just click on this, it will automatically start the downloading and you will see the button, uh, the window, something like this. And you just have to click on the next button. Cloud SDK requires Python supported version or Python 3. So that is also it is required. So if you don't have the Python, then also uh, you should have to run the Python at least, right? Your operating system must be able to run one of these supported Python version in order to cloud SDK to run, right? So it should be supported. Now, here. The installer installed all necessary dependency, including the needed Python version as well. So that is the good part, actually. If you don't have the Python, yes, it will do because I had already the Python. So uh, I didn't notice about this step, but good to recording this video. I uh, currently can see this particular step and while Cloud SDK currently installed and manages Python 3s by default. You can use an existing Python installation if necessary by unchecking the option. Okay, got it. Once you will click on, so you just have to run the select, check or uncheck these particular options as per your need. You want the desktop support, you want into the start menu or not, and you want to start the Google Cloud shell after finish this. So once you will click on this finish button, so automatically one windows will open right uh, something like this and here are already i have installed so let me just show you that how it will be looks like right let me do the full screen welcome to this command line will take you to the configuration g cloud your current configuration has been set to default right and then after uh, it is checking the network connection then it will ask like you want you must log in to continue would you like to log in so you just have to press type y so it will automatically redirect to the browser and on the browser you have to put the username and the password on which you on which account you want to run this particular g cloud and you want to merge this uh, sdk g cloud sdk with your uh, web console Right, so as example, you have a two to three Gmail accounts are there and any one of your, if you are running on all that, uh, that G Cloud you have installed or uh, you have configured as a G Cloud console. But if you want to merge this particular SDK with only single G Cloud, so you just have to log in into that and uh, it will ask for the permission. So you just have to type yes. So I have currently logged in with my dj.multicloud at gmail.com, right? And then it will ask for the, it will check for the project. Like if you have created few projects in the past, then it will show the list. If you have created by using the console, 
and by default uh, there is few uh, one project is there so this is the list if you want to create a new project from this cli then you can choose the option number two so i don't want to create the new project from here so i have just selected the option one and has been set to construct cubic right do you want to configure default compute region and john if you want to do you can just type yes otherwise you just have to price uh, type n and just press enter i want to configure so that's why i just type yes and once i have typed that one you can see the entire list of the region where the google is running the data centers and the regions they have created across the worldwide that you can see here so as per your availability which is the region is nearby you or as per your requirement you can just select that particular option and i just type one number one right you just have to type number 10 like if you want central 1b if you want this region asia east 1b so you just have to type 26 and just press enter and then after it will ask like uh, something this you just have to press enter enter and create default dot boto boto configuration file and this is the automatically run this particular commands and run g cloud dash help so automatically it will this prompt will come so in short like your g cloud will be installed into app data in local directory in google and the cloud sdk so by default or by mistake if you have just uh, closed this one and if you want to go again then you just have to remember this path or you can store this path as well so whenever you go to any new window as example let me do that let me copy cmd and just press enter sorry i have to type cd command oh not cd okay understood okay <laughs> this is the mistake actually i have copied this particular bracket as well so that is not required right so you are here and here let me just go to here and you can see this is the g cloud command line tool cheat sheet by using this cheat sheet there are few commands are there for the personalization for the credential related for the project IAM GKE Kubernetes engine uh, for the virtual machine so there are multiple commands are there let's run few of them only like uh, G cloud version G cloud info that type of commands you can directly run from here like if you will just press CLO right so it is showing like it is error so we don't know like we haven't put any other details so it will automatically give the details something like this which one you want and then after if you need any help for g cloud then just type something like this g cloud dash dash help right if you will by default or uh, by mistake sorry g cloud if you have just entered any wrong command then it will also show the uh, commands related to it so if i type just version so i can see the version as well right uh, one more command related to related to okay let's run for the compute so let me show you about like what i was trying to say like if you don't know the pull command then just enter the g cloud compute so it will show you the commands related to that compute like it the firewall or the firewall policies which type of command or for the instances right so it's a very smart we can say 
yes we want and okay g cloud region i have just entered into the different window yes so maybe you meant yes this is what i want to show you guys so i have just entered the command g cloud region but uh, there, there is no command start with g cloud region so it is like maybe you meant it is something like google but cli google yes so this is something uh, command related to the region it will show wherever the region word is in use okay so yes just do uh, use this cli cheat sheet and uh, uh, install this google sdk basic commands know about the how uh, google will work and maybe it will helpful to you in future definitely it will help to helpful to you in the future thank you for watching this video have a good day